What is going on, everybody? This is Kyle for We The Coasters down here at uh, down here at Kings Island for Winterfest 2023. And I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. As uh, we're really, as at the time of this recording, we're two days away from Christmas. Crazy, crazy how fast this year has gone. And uh, I wasn't able to make it down here for Winterfest last year, but making up for it this year. And uh, I have been working at Winterfest as well. I've been working the some of the flat rides over in Coney Mall, those being Scrambler, Zephyr, and the Grand Carousel. And uh, I've been enjoying that. Flat ride's pretty easy to work, so it's made for a pretty easy uh, Winterfest so far. And as you can see, International Street has been turned into a bit of a winter wonderland as you see people ice skating. And here where the fountains usually are. That is uh, not something I plan on doing. I don't trust my sense of balance on ice, and I don't have health insurance, so that could go really badly. So I'm uh, just going to be down here showcasing uh, what Kings Island has to offer from Winterfest with all the beautiful Christmas lights, which I've added uh, even more this year. So. so if you enjoy what we do here at We The Coasters, be sure to give this video a like. And uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And uh, at the time of this recording, we are three, I believe we're, we are closing in on 900 subscribers. Absolutely amazing. You guys have been killing it for us this year. So, so with that out of the way, let's get to today's featured presentation, shall we? So I haven't really mentioned this a whole lot, if ever yet so far, but this is what's new for Kings Island in 2024 brand new area coming here to camps to a planet snoopy called camp snoopy and some other cedar fair parks have uh, a camp snoopy including cedar point and they're getting a new family coaster made by vacoma here it's going to be called the uh, snoopy soapbox racers over here it looks pretty good i'm not all that excited about it i don't really do kitty coasters but uh should do well for the park I'm... let's be back over here by uh, woodstock gliders so, should be interesting to see when this thing is completed how uh, different the park is going to look, at least how different this area will look. So, Snoopy uh, Soapbox Gliders coming in 2024. So, just did one ride on Mystic Timbers. Still can't get the tree. I don't know. I don't know why I can't get the tree to save my life anymore, but end up getting the bad instead. Better than the snake, at least. In the park itself um doesn't look bad crowd wise amazingly it's been a kind of spitting rain off and on throughout the day there's a lot of rain that came through this morning i think it's kept a lot of people at home and plus there's a bengal steelers game today and you know this is bengal's country so yeah a lot of people are at home watching that so giving us a fairly light crowd like the extended queue wasn't even open in line for mystics never so that's always nice not really sure what we're going to do next here, just uh, walking through Rivertown, checking out some of the lights. So, I don't know, we'll see. Alright, just did a ride on Flight of Fear, or Flight of Cheer, I should say. I don't know how well you can see that sign. But there's one thing that is not cheerful about Flight of Cheer. Yeah, one train ops. Nothing cheerful about one train ops. But other than that, it was a good ride, rode in row nine. And uh, this is something I did not know, and this is thanks to this guy right here. This is Sam, he was a uh, fellow ride op here, works over at the Beast. If you ride Flight of Fear for the final ride of the night, you will ride it with the lights on. For the comfort of our guests, found that out sometime last week, and uh, it's quite the experience being in there with the lights on. So, uh, if you ever get a chance to do it, I highly recommend it. So, this is normally Action Zone. But as you can see here, we have a nice snow sled here. There are a lot of Christmas decorations, Christmas lights. We have ice sculpting over here, right in front of Banshee. It's a nice looking area. I love the lights. Okay. 
The guys that do the ice sculpting over here are extremely talented. Some of the stuff over here, I don't know how well you can see it. I don't want to get too close. I'm getting people's way, but still. I don't even know what they call Action Town during Winterfest, but uh, it's, it's a nice looking area. And despite it being in uh, upper 40s, low 50s right now, they still manage to keep the ice going. So, good on them. So, good area to check out if you're here. Alright, still in Action Town, over here by Banshee. That just looks really weird, looking in the station, not seeing a train. It looks weird and it's extremely depressing as somebody that loves this coaster. But... There have been talks, I don't know if it's just rambling or rumors or whatever, but this thing, a banshee running during Winterfest, I would not be opposed to that if they could find a way to do it. So, just sucks, I gotta wait until April to ride this thing again. But, you know. And please, next year being Banshee's uh, 10th anniversary, can we get a repaint? Then need a new color scheme, just it needs freshened up. Other than that, everything is good. So we just did a antique autos. Haven't done that ride in a while. Ended up getting the Zephyr car, which is kind of cool. That's one of the rides I work here at Winterfest this year, so that works out well. I'm gonna head back over to Mystic Timbers here, just passing through uh, where the three-point showdown is. Really nice looking lights back here. I love the blue and the icicles and everything. It's really good. Okay. I'm gonna head back over to Mystic Timbers now. That's gonna be good. Going lockdown. Oh. Order the so we did River. another ride on Mystic Timbers. Repeat. Got really lucky with Do this one. Enter. The group in front of us were assigned the front row, and they didn't want it for whatever reason. So we gladly took rows one and two. So. Great ride. Pretty chilly, but boy, it was worth it. Now just walking through Rivertown. Rode the train earlier too. That's always a good ride here. as a different entrance for Winterfest. This is usually the Whitewater Canyon entrance. But this is where we go down to the train. It's, the tunnel is decorated with these changing color lights. It's really good. Right, not sure what we're doing next, so we'll just uh, have to see. Walking on International Street here, just taking in all the lights and the decorations that they have over here. See people still ice skating over here. Snowflake Lake, as it's being called. Just love all the lights and everything here. It just looks so beautiful down here during Winterfest. I don't think this camera, as good as this thing is, I doubt it's doing the, uh, the lights justice, just to how good it really looks. I wish I could ice skate, I really do. That would be, that does look fun, but I tried it a couple of times. It just doesn't work for me, unfortunately, so. You see the Eiffel Tower? Yes, it is the Eiffel Tower right there. It's been turned into a Christmas tree. And the colors of the lights change. Uh, quite a bit here, you see it's red and white. Right now. It's going to change in a minute or so. It's really good. <laughs> so the 
Dallas Castle. Got some lights on there. The uh, walking spiel going off here now. It's even playing Christmas music. Very nice. Viking Fury not operating during Winterfest. Kind of surprising. See more of the trees, the decorative lights. These islands added a lot more Christmas lights uh, for Winterfest this year, and it's definitely, uh, definitely paid off. Can definitely notice it. So see some of the lights over toward Action Zone. So, yeah, just man, it looks really good down here. So I decided to give my luck a try at the guessing game, where they try to guess your your height, or I think it's weight, birth month, and age. And I was successful. So I got my sister a little something for Christmas here. I already got her one thing, so put this in her stocking, hopefully. Because we have two goats. I'm trying to get out of people's way here. So with that, I'm going to head on out of here. It's been a been a pretty fun night over here. It's been a fun year. You know, for me, first year working here at Kings Island, I've got to experience it all from the very beginning of the year in the spring to the main summer season to Halloween haunt. Now working Winterfest, and uh, man, hard to believe it's uh, almost over. What am I going to do until April? I, I don't know. That's uh, <laughs> kind of depressed about that. But if you enjoyed this vlog, be sure to give it a like. That helps us out a lot here. And hit that subscribe button. Here, like I said at the beginning of the video, we are closing in on 900 subscribers. And uh, be sure to give us a follow on Instagram and give us a like on Facebook. We just recently joined Facebook over the last uh, month, month and a half ago. I believe it was maybe longer than that. So yeah, we're all over social media now. So uh, I'll have a link to all of that in the description below. So this is probably the last you'll uh, hear of me for 2023. I will be back in 2024. And uh, got a lot of good things planned for 2024. If you didn't catch our announcement on Instagram, we got some trips coming up here. We're going to Virginia, going to Bush Gardens, Williamsburg. We're going to King's Dominion, and then we will be going to Hershey Park in Pennsylvania. This is all on one trip that is coming up in uh, late May, early June. Looking forward to that, and we're also going to do the Ohio trip as well. Here, Dylan and Lynn will, come, will be up here to go to King's Island and Cedar Point, and... Who knows what else we'll do in 2024, but we're really excited about that. So, uh, you know, until, um, like I said, this is probably going to be the last we'll hear from me in 2023, but of course I'll be back in 2024 once this place opens up again. And uh, until then, enjoy all the content Dylan's going to provide down in Florida. That's always good. So uh, have a good one, everybody, and Merry Christmas, and have a Happy New Year.